Message from General Pepper. Priority one. We need your help, Star Fox. Andros has declared war. He's invaded the Lilac system and is trying to take over Corneria. Our army alone can't do the job. Hurry, Star Fox. Aloha, this is the Green Lightning Mr. T, and welcome to my uh, so-called challenge run of Star Fox 64. This, this is a, pretty much a disaster of an idea. Um, so my idea stems from a feature that was not prevalent, or just didn't exist in Star Fox 64 3D which was a DS remake that came basically just as the, the 3DS came out. Um, they took out the build, took away the ability to play the game from the view of the cockpit of your ship. Um, there's a lot of problems, though. Um, just from some fooling around... Um, it turns out that it don't work very well. Um, for one, the uh, Landmaster sections, and I presume the uh, Aquamarine, I think it's called, the submarine mission in this game, of course, don't have a cockpit view available. It's only for the R-Wing. Um... On top of that, your cockpit view becomes disabled as soon as you go into all range mode. At least that's what I believe, judging from a little bit I fooled around in multiplayer. So this challenge is basically one massive disaster. Um, however, I'm just going to go into it, see how it feels, see how it goes. I'm going to be playing through all of Star Fox 64, and I'm going to spend as much time as is possible in the cockpit view. By the way, I don't normally play with the cockpit view. Um, not on this game, at least. I've played, like, what is it, Star Wars Rogue Squadron 3 or something like that, and play, doing run get playthroughs of the game where you only play from the cockpit is a lot of fun in that game. I haven't ever done anything like that for this game. In fact, it's probably because it's pretty unremarkable the cockpit even existing in this game that it got left out of the 3D version. But <laughs> I'm just going to see how it goes, although this is a already a bit of a train wreck. So I, you're not actually going to see any of that run here. For now, I'm gonna fool around in the main in the main menu. You got to see the opening cutscene, blah blah blah. As you can see, by the fact that I have expert mode unlocked, and by the fact that I've got expert soundtrack mode unlocked, yeah, I've fully hundred percent of this game basically. Um, you can see my rankings. I'm. F I'm going to start with a fresh file, so I'm going to delete everything. Which saddens me that, like, all my rankings are getting reset, but hey, they're on YouTube now, so it doesn't, doesn't matter anymore. 
Yes, I have weird nicknames. Anyways, um, so this episode, I'm just going to be doing the training. Um, something I actually recently learned that when you have the game 100% like this, you actually can play like as the characters and run around, which I fooled around with to see what that was like, and I'm actually amazed that that actually exists. But anyways... I'm here for training because I've done one. I've probably forgotten all the controls by now. All right, that's slow down. Oh god, that's gonna get. Oh god, <laughs> that actually is gonna possibly make people sick. Oh god, and on top of oh no, when you turn the ship down. Holding up makes you go left, and like, oh no, all the controls become different the second you turn your ship. Just that, oh my god, oh I am gonna get sick from this playthrough. Ah! <laughs> um. Ah, uh, this is. I'm gonna get all the medals like this? Jeez. <laughs> Some levels are, of course, gonna be in all range mode, and. I'll be stuck out of this plus, of course. Oh god, Landmaster levels. Which means those part won't be, I guess, part of the challenge. How the heck am I going to do this? Okay, maybe this challenge idea isn't such a train wreck after all. What is going on? I'm <laughs> Everything is moving so fast, I can't tell what's going on. Ow! <laughs> Oh man, this is... Uh... Oh yeah, that's right, the... they have a little thing that goes down after you get hit. That's a combo counter, not a enemy counter. That's on the left, by, by health bar, of course. Oh god, oh god, oh god, stop, stop. Oh my god. Ow! I think I just... There's wing repair. Oh, sh yeah, I'm... This is gonna go... Oh. Hopefully I get used to this by the time I get around to expert, but holy mackerel, this is... This is gonna be so bad. Oh, the screen shakes when you boost. Oh. Maybe it did... Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I should. <laughs> How the heck do they really fly this thing? Things are moving so fast, I can't keep up. Ugh, I'm. Ow. Ow. Alright. Alright, I totally missed. I whiffed, completely whiffed, because I. Um, doing this from the inside the ship is. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna break my wings at some point. Alright, this breaks is for the U-turn. Yeah, yeah, all range road. I recently got the chance to actually pay, play the original... Yes, I know about changing the camera angle. Yay. You only have cockpit view and normal view when not in all range mode. Oh, you don't take much damage in the training. Oh. Can I go back to playing Star Wars Rogues? Okay, here's all range mode. It's gonna kick me out, isn't it? Yep. So here's here's the, the niche with my my challenge idea is that it doesn't work in all range mode, which is a, a downer because um, there is technically a singular path that'll take you through all of the Lilat system um, without um, using the Landmaster or Aquamarine. So that I could, like, technically do a challenge where you only play from the cockpit. 
and have it be like that for every level, but due to all range mode kicking you out, it's not really gonna work. Alright, so I'm gonna get oh I am I am sick with worry right now. Let me just practice a back U-turn. Alright. I feel terribly ill because of this idea. Oh, I am so worried. Alright. Once you get to like a hundred kills, like it starts actually spawning like enemies for you to, to actually shoot back, but I'm not gonna I'm I just wanted to get a feel for the controls again. And figure out how this challenge is gonna go. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> of course for the levels that are in f entirely done in free range mode, which is actually not that many. I think I type nope the the that base, I don't remember the name. Tit I Titania is it Titania? Man, now I'm not worried about that I'm forgetting all the planet names. Isn't Titania the one where you have the Landmaster? What's that other one? Oh, forget it. You guys don't want to hear me rambling about this. This challenge idea is a disaster in that it doesn't even... It's not a consistent um, handicap. And on top of that, it's a major handicap. Okay, this has been the Green Lines Tea. I hope enjoy my future videos this was just you get this video for free just to discuss the idea and go over the preview gosh and i get to end it off with deleting my data <laughs> yay i'll get i'll get there but oh what a mess are you really sure it's a long t it's a long ways to get back to 100% in this game. You got to do several runs. And that's if you can even get the medals on them. What am I doing to myself? Data is erased. All right. Let me just check. Yep, it's what I'm actually surprised they have headphones as an option for this, but yay, hooray for that. <sighs> Wish me luck. This is screen letting Mr. T. Aloha.